guys welcome to our first course about introduction to python python is a programming language that lets you work quickly and integrate systems more effectively it is easy to learn all you have to do is that uh, for beginners just install the Python ID in which you have different options. For me, I'm using Python. You can also download it, the community edition, which is free to use. Now, why learn Python? So Python has a lot of uses in data analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence, game development, web development, and uh, many more applications. So if you learn Python, you will be able to do most of the things related to these technologies. And you will be able to do more interesting things in future so in our upcoming lectures we will get into the basics and try to go into the advanced thank you for joining me this is abnav signing off you can use python for i hi guys this is abnav so in this session we will learn about python so python is a programming language which has lots of interesting application and it can be used to quickly integrate systems you can use python for web and internet development scientific and numeric studies for they have been built modules like scipy Pandas, IPython software, carpentry course. You can use it for education. You can use it for desktop GUIs, software development and business application, adding to data analytics, so machine learning, and many more applications. So in our upcoming sessions, we will know more about it. Thank you for joining me. This is Avinav signing off. Hi guys, this is Avinav. This is a brief intro on Python formatting. So there are two ways. The first one is uh, older style like uh, i define name is raj and i want to print hello raj so i say hello and i use this to define the position and i use this to define the variable which is containing the string so that is I get hello Raj. Then there is new style. New style uh, we define oranges value is 300. Then we want a text that there are. So we use colon and uh, we use point to a 2f to define it that we want it as a float value oranges on the tree then we simply say print text point to format oranges then when we print it we get there are 300 point o oranges on the tree Next one is multiple values. So 
we define my order my trace is blue and white so we want to put the values for blue and white so we say my order point to format blue we define blue as sort and white as trouser and we get the value my dress is sort and trouser uh, we can add to it Okay, now uh, I want to print my dresses, search trouser and tie. So we can do that. My dresses, search and trouser and the tie. Just remove and. Okay, it's printed my dresses, search trouser and the tie. So these are some simple formulas and ways to format your output. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye and thank you. This is Avinav signing off. Hi guys, this is Avinav. So this one is a simple tutorial on booleans. So boolean is a class value. As you can see, so if you try to type like something like this boolean 5 then it returns true then you try to print boolean zero then boolean zero is false so just like that you can print uh, true that is true not true that is false you can print uh, and get the value boolean value by using operators and specifying conditions like this then you can define a class and you can get the boolean value for the class variable then you can also define a function and you can get a boolean value for your function so that is a brief overview of booleans and how they work you can use it in your programs such as uh, in while loops or for giving a condition which maybe i will show you later thank you for joining the session see you again this is Abhinav. in this session we will learn about python functional arguments so let's begin by defining a function
So we have given four arguments that are five, five, six, seven, and we are calling the function. Are we calling the function? I guess so. We need some brackets. So yeah. So that will return our output that is 23. We can use some more arguments. Seven eight six seven, and this returns our value that is twenty eight. So this is more tutorial about arguments and how you can use it in different kind of functions. This is Avnav signing off. See you in. Hi guys, this is Avnav. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, Python tuples, set, and list. So let's begin. So guys, this is a simple set of uh, three elements, you, me, and book. Same, you can just follow through by printing their length. Uh, their length is 3. Now we can do one more thing. So we change the brackets to a square brackets and we got a list. Now we can do one more thing. We change the brackets to get a tuple. So that is a simple list, tuple, and set definition for you. You can use them in your programs. So we will learn new and exciting things in our upcoming sessions. Till then, bye and thank you. Yes, in this section, we are going to talk about conditional statements. So I will discuss a program written by me, which will help you understand both algorithm and conditional statement in Python. So we want to get an input for a string. And we define the string. If a string is equal to one, long game, zero long game is equal to length of a string okay now we define all the possible condition of inputs here yeah. then we start with for loop for i in range length of a string if a string i is equal to 0 count 0 
if it is a then count plus one so for the vowels and then we define the condition for the consonants as well here b c d e g h so that is a simple syntax for for loop you can use it as many times as you want in your program as long as you are familiar with algorithm then you print out the necessary details so this is a simple if alif loop so if first condition second condition third condition and you put the condition up to where you want then you can put an else or alif it doesn't matter you can also put many conditions in one if or alif by using and like this see this and this I have used and three times and defined three conditions just like that then yep, let's run this program and see what it does so please enter your string that is my thing Wait. Yep, here we go. So we had some conditions laid in for the required output. And since the program is very large, it will take a lot of time to explain you. I just wanted to explain you about if I live and for loop and how you can use them together. So thank you for joining this session. I will see you in the next. The brief introduction about data analytics tools like Pandas and how you can use them to learn about Python algorithms. So for beginners, first you will need to install Pandas, which you can do. You can by going to Python packages, searching for, for Pandas and installing it from here then there are other libraries as well like numpy a powerful n dimensional array object sophisticated functions basically for data analytics and there is one more matplotlib so these are essential libraries you need to know So you can just, if you are using PyCharm, you can just install it by searching the package name. So let's look at this code. So we have a data file of uh, various likes and shares on Facebook. Something like this. And what we are doing is that we are trying to read it using pandas. So Suppose if that file was on GitHub and we were supposed to read it and we simply write URL address then we get the data frame and we define pandas read csp because we have imported pandas as pt so panda read csp file this URL and index it by zero and print the data frame head head means the upper part so since we already have installed our file and it is with us we can simply remove this and we can move further by defining the data frame and clicking the file name which is with us if you are using PyCharm or you need it to paste it in your project you need to cut the csp file and directly paste it to your project so define the pandas read csp file define data frame sample so sample will produce random values 
five data values from the data set. Then defi define data frame head five. Head five will produce five results from the uppermost part of the data frame. Then uh, next one is define data frame tell that will produce five results from the bottom of the data frame accessing certain records like if you want to know about the likes or uh, so you define the likes then you print the likes if you are trying to address more than two three columns then you put their names and you print it like you want head you want tell you want sample so something like that so let's run this program yep here we are so you can do all kind of things exciting things using pandas these are some basic functions you need to know and to understand the algorithm and how you need to put your programs in proper sequence Thank you for joining this session. I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, this is a brief intro to NumPy and Matplotlib. So we are trying to get plot a survey result for different categories that we define as strongly desiree, desiree, agree, and all that. Then we have results for different questions in percentage. Then we, we are defining a function called survey with results and categories names which are the parameters then we start by labeling our list then we define our color axis and we start with for loop and we return our figure and axis and then we plot it something like this so you can get very good data visualization using matplotlib and numpy you can use for scientific computing so both of them together will help you master data analytics in python if that is what you are interested in thank you for joining this session i will see you in the next one please find the file in the resources so you can try on your own for more info please refer to matplotlib resources and libraries and learn about different graphs you can use for your data thank you again see you hi guys in this session we will learn about some functions in array and how python algorithm works so let's begin
ओके गाइज एज यू कैन सी वी आर अपेंडिंग वन एलिमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड एडिंग एलिमेंट टू दिस सारे विच इज गेटिंग एडेड जस्ट आफ्टर इंक देन वी आर पॉपिंग वन एलिमेंट एट द जीरो पोजिशन विच इज बुक एंड देन वी आर रिमूविंग पेंसिल ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द एरे and then we are printing the array so the array becomes pen ink and the adding element so let's see if we pop the last element that will be 4 0 1 to 3 four element if we are removing the last element then let's print it out okay so we have popped the element we just appended and yep so the program first goes into appending the element then it pops the element number wise then it removes the called element and then it prints the array just like this you can try on different kind of programs with different functions these are some basic functions you need to know like append pop remove while you are working with array i will see you in the next session till then bye and thank you hey guys this is avnav in this session we are going to find the intersection of function uh, which has float values so let's begin by importing math module which is a inbuilt module in python from typing import callable which you can find uh, the details in python documentation at python.org so let's begin by defining intersection and function callable which is float values function is the f we want to find its root intersection lambda lambda is used to define functions and create anonymous functions so we create some anonymous functions then we start the while loop and we define the conditions and then we return the function okay so that is a simple algorithm problem in arithmetics using lambda and math module let's run it okay so we successfully compiled it in next session we will look into more sections related to algorithm thank you for joining this session this is up enough signing off hi guys in this session we will talk about n queens problem which is like placing n number of queens on a n into n chess board such that no queen can attack any other queens placed on that chess board this means that one queen cannot have any other queen on its horizontal vertical and diagonal lines the solution is to solve this problem we will use simple mathematics first we know the queen can move in all the possible ways we can simplify it in this vertical horizontal diagonal left and diagonal right we can visualize it like this left diagonal right diagonal on a chessboard vertical movement could be the rows and horizontal movement could be the columns in programming we can use an array and in this array each index could be the rows and each value in the array could be the column for example something like this we have this chess board with one queen in each column and each queen cannot attack to each other the array for this example would look, would look like this 1 3 0 and 2 1 3 0 and 2 
So if we use an array and we verify that each value in the array is different to each other, we know that at least the queens cannot attack each other in horizontal and vertical. At this point, we have it halfway completed and we will treat the chessboard as a Cartesian plane. That is m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Here in after we are going to remember basic math. So in the school, okay. Now this formula allows us to get the slope for the angles 45 degree and 135 degree. Then we have this formula for slope intersect y is equal to mx plus b. b is where the line crosses the y axis. Then y minus mx is equal to b. And since we already have m values for the angles 45 degree and 135 degree, this formula would look like this. So applying these two, two formulas together, we can check if a queen is some position is being attacked for another one or vice versa. So from future import attonation, define depth first search, then define the possible board list integer, diagonal right collision, list integer, diagonal left collision, list integer, boards, list, list, string, and int. Let's begin by making a board of empty list, then depth define depth first search for board in board print the board, get next row in the current board, possible board to fill it with the queen, row is equal to then possible board, if row is equal to n, boards append, then this is the algorithm this one for i in possible board return for now we define for column for column in range we use the simple arithmetics we learned and reviewed and if column in possible board or row minus column and diagonal right collision or row plus collision in diagonal left collision continue then depth first search, possible board, diagonal right collision plus row minus collision, diagonal left collision plus row plus collision, and then we define the end queen solution, and then we return the result function. So that will be a brief overview of end queen solution, and it is very good for learning about Python algorithms. Thank you for joining this session. This is Avinav Sanchez. As you start learning Python more and more, if you want to get into web development, you can refer to Django. Django is a web application development framework for Python stars. And you can simply download it from here and get started with your documentation and process maybe we will discuss about it in our upcoming courses the next one is matplotlib so you get a lot of valuable resources from here learning about different type of plots and how to plot them using your data now, the third one is for machine learning, that is PyTorch, which is open source machine learning framework that accelerates the path from research to all kinds of ML developments. You can pay, you can configure it from here, what you need. And you can join their community. These are the companies and universities using PyTorch. It is it is something like uh, NumPy, but um, it is very popular these days. So that will be all for this course. I will see you in the next one. Till then, keep learning and keep 
exploring. Thank you for joining this tutorial.